In this video, we'll write the formula for sodium thiosulfate. So we know sodium, that's Na, but this thiosulfate here, you won't find that on the periodic table. It ends in ATE. This is a polyatomic ion. So you either memorize the formula or you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions if you're allowed. Let's look it up on a table. So we go down and thiosulfate right here. S2O3 2 minus. Let's write that up here. So we have sodium, that's a metal. So we just write Na here. And then we have this group of nonmetals, our thiosulfate ion, that S2O3 2 minus. Since we have a metal and a group of nonmetals, this is an ionic compound, so we have to think about charge. We know that this entire thiosulfate ion here, the whole thing has that 2 minus charge. Sodium, that's in group 1 on the periodic table. That's going to be 1 plus. So we need 2 of these sodiums to balance out the 2 minus to give us a net charge of 0. Let's remove all these symbols. And this is the formula for sodium thiosulfate, Na2S2O3. This is used quite a bit in chemistry and in industry, so it's a pretty common compound to come across. But again, you have to know that the thiosulfate ion, to write the chemical formula for sodium thiosulfate, you've got to recognize thiosulfate as a polyatomic ion, and then you've got to make sure the charge is balanced since you have an ionic compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.